Okay, welcome back to part two. We've got very, very windy uh, conditions here. There's a, there's a wind warning. We're at the end of the grass strip here. A lot of trees and we're going to take off and head 240, so let's go. Don't want to stay here any longer. Plenty of fuel, everything's in the green. And it is very, very windy. So I'm actually going to follow the coast. I don't want to be flying across the sea. Not really. Obviously the direct way to Dublin is straight across the sea, but I'm not going that way. I want to stay near the coast if I can. So I'll hop across these estuaries. Very, very windy, choppy day today. Got quite a lot of right rudder in there to keep the ball in the middle. Okay, I'm going to cut across this estuary, so they're flying round it. I can see the other side, so I've got a visual reference. Visibility is pretty good. It's not brilliant, but it's good enough. So I'm going to head for that bit of headland there. Time 2.33 and we're over the coast.
It's giving 26 miles. It's just 13 minutes ETA. Not allowing for wind. If we have a headwind, it will slow us down more. If we have a tailwind, that will speed us up. But we've got a crosswind at the moment. Which shouldn't really affect us that much. Just blows us off course. I have not been to Dublin for a long time. Last time I came here I was in the P-51. I wish uh, Orbex had sold the scenery for Southern Ireland because I'd like to tour all around in so Southern Ireland. That'd be super cool. But last time I looked it wasn't available. I must look today if I can remember once we get down and see what all the scenery packages are available. That'll be good. Well, the wind seems to have reduced a bit. So I keep the ball in the middle. And uh, it went all the way to the other side. Which is possibly an indication that the wind has dropped, but not necessarily. It doesn't feel like it's stopped. The wind does tend to reduce them back on the surface. When the wind veers, it uh, increases in degrees. And, you know, as you look at the compass, it's going clockwise. Okay, when it backs, it's going the other way, anti-clockwise. If it changes direction, for example, from east to north, it's just backed through 90 degrees. And if it veers to east, it's, it's changed direction 90 degrees. So that's veering and backing, okay? Just thought I'd tell you that. Enlighten you with that bit of irrelevant information. Very choppy, very choppy still. very difficult to trim a helicopter in at the best of times properly but when it's choppy like this it makes the job even harder not saying it's impossible okay not far to go now 18 is that Lots of houses and trees all of a sudden.
Not far to go now to Dublin. This is one of those flights where everyone in the back would be sick. Because it's bouncing all the time. And you're like, mm. You just want the flight to end, you just want to get down on the ground. Because it's so lumpy and bumpy. Airports over there look. It's a bit Irish in it not putting the uh <laughs> what's this? Watch this here. Dublin So that's the airfield we're aiming at aiming for See the, the VOR beacon isn't always on the airport well, what's wrong with this stupid thing now <sighs> so we're going to pass the VOR beacon it'll be on my right, so the needle will swing around, it's starting to swing. And it'll be pointing over there, then it'll be pointing behind me. That means we've passed it to the east, which is right, that's what we want. So what I should do now is tune in the other beacon. Because that one would be better for me. Tune now one, that's this one. And that'll take me to this point here, which is the end of that runway really so that's giving me my distance and range to my destination So I want to be slightly to the uh, east of it to hit the actual airfield. We're not that far east. I need to come back around to the right. Otherwise I'm going to miss the airfield. There we are. That'll do. Cause the wind's pushing me over that way as it is. So I could uh, offset the drift a little bit by oversteering a tiny bit, not too much. So if you don't offset your drift, you finish up going over there and then coming back. Whereas if you offset it here, you should go in a straight line. If you offset it too much, <laughs> you're banana again, but the other way. So it's, it takes a bit of practice. And if you've got 
and visible reference points in the distance that makes life a lot easier. As if you're flying blind on instruments, it's it's a struggle. Right, here we are. I think this is it, just ahead. Definitely seeing an airport. Yeah, this is it. Nice, we should slow the helicopter down. Start to descend. Oh, loads more right rudder needed that. A lot more than normal. All the T's and P's are good. Okay, let's put in some more power. Raise the nose. And I can see a landing site just beneath me there on the right. Somewhere over by the control tower. Wow, talked it out there. This thing. Okay, I'll do an orbit to the left. And that should give me a good view of my landing site. It's a big airport, isn't it? Loads. Wow, you can really feel that wind there. I shall have to uh, go on Sky Vector and check the weather. See what the wind is, because it's really gusting quite hard. Okay, I'll go in front of these hangars with the double door. Twin wind socks there, but horizontal to the pole. I think British military uh, aircraft can land in Southern Ireland as long as they're not carrying weapons or spying I think they're the rules and we're doing neither thank you very much for watching welcome to Dublin in Southern Ireland and I'll see you in the next video